Those are your radios, by the way, Ryan. Yeah, but I edit out all the stuff that you say. <laughs> I always do. I have to do that. Thank you. I don't want people to know. I apologize for how I really you. feel about you. The yeah. sun hits and it's, I don't know, it's just uh, pretty unbearable. It was 60, 59 when I came in this morning in this office, and now it's 76. So. All right. It's improving. All right. So, uh,. Welcome to uh, two guys, like, well, a principal, some guy, and Ryan. <laughs> Book reviews. He's over here. He's not even two on camera. Two principals. Two principals. Two principals. And some guy. This and random guy. guy. Let's start. Fire it up. First, okay. They have a mission edition, which is uh, anytime you can get students to do anything with math on its own is great, but when you incorporate some literature into that so that they can... Um, just work through some word problems, which is incredibly important these days, uh, and add some funny pictures and characters within that. Um, they can have a lot of fun with that. So great illustrations. Um, students really get involved and work through these in groups. Um, some of my older students, in the three, four, at least at Roxbury, worked through it, and they really enjoyed it. So something to check out. Um, yeah, Mission Edition, go for it. And there's all kinds of different series of these. You can look at it. That was, that was an okay one. I thought it was great. Go ahead. Yeah, that was alright. <laughs> so my book, this is one of my favorite. <laughs> this is one of my favorite mentor texts. If you teach writer's workshop in your school or your classroom, this is a book you definitely want to have on your shelf. Uh, Ralph Fletcher is an incredible writer. Does a lot of work with teachers, and check out his Twitter too because. You know, I, I read one of his tweets the other day about the language and the verbs that you use in your writing, and it, it inspired me to, to go write, which is always cool. Uh, so this book, Marshfield Dreams, is about his uh, boyhood in Marshfield, Massachusetts. Came from a family of nine children, and writes, you know, there's a lot of vignettes in here, little funny stories. It's great when you have a mentor text that has little funny stories that capture students' attention, especially if you're working on personal narratives, small moments. And so, great book to have on your shelf. Enjoy. That's all I got. What do you think? Bring it home. Fourth grade? Barry. Fourth grade? Third grade? Yeah, I would say uh, third graders. I've read third, third, third mm -hmm. through fifth. Yeah. Maybe I, yeah. maybe middle. I think middle schoolers would Probably like it too. Yeah. 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 Great yeah. stories. Nice. So, I have uh, the legend Jack Perlotsky. What a day it was at school. Just a series of short poems and stories about things that happen at school. Kind of funny. Well, a few things in here mocking principals. Not that I encourage anyone to do that, but <laughs> I think it's occasionally fun to see some stories about principals that you know you can just kind of point to. Um, just a great quick read. This is one to have on the shelf if you have five seconds that you want to read to kids. A quick poem that gets them laughing, gets them thinking about word choice and rhyming and all sorts of good stuff. And Jack Perlutsky, he's the legend, you know. Oh, it's, it's, it's a good book. It's a solid book. It so, is. Ben, thank you for coming. Um, yeah, yeah. You're welcome for the book. Yeah. These know. are two yeah. great books here. Yeah. So, look at that. As always, thank you for voting. That's right. Thank, thank you for voting. Me number one again. It's not a competition. It's not a competition.